Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to this look back on the first three seasons of our Humpty Doo save. We're just waiting for our first Tim Kale FFA Cup round tie against North Queensland Fury. But I thought we'd have a look back and see where we came from. So we started the ball rolling in the Northern Territory Premiership back in 22-23. And as you can see, we were the champions of that competition. Our Perulum, one of the teams that we actually visited in our little journeys out that way, ended up winning it the following year, but I can actually see that they've actually dropped back down into this division. So unfortunately, they haven't been able to stay up. And then Galawinku got promoted last year. So once again, they were a team that we actually visited. Looking at the player awards from this particular competition, Chris Sandu was a player that actually scored goals against us when we played them. He's actually won it the last two years running, but obviously he'll be moving into the higher division this year and it was the legendary Dick Splash that won it the season before so looking at the competition table of the season that we won we won by a mere 19 points over Adelaide River who were promoted with us and they ultimately are in the division above and have managed to stay up there so congratulations to them so other sides that have gone up subsequent to our year Alpa Ruralum finished eighth that year and Galawinku just outside the five in sixth spot looking at the season just gone in the same competition we can see Galawinku won quite comfortably as well they got through by 11 points over Cox Peninsula but Palmerston Panthers who were a team that we had a little bit of trouble with when we played them in our division and they were actually doing well at the beginning of the season when we played them they actually came up from fifth so that's actually a really good win for them so our second season took us into the foodland central championship which we won as well and the team that were our greatest competition in that year were fk beograd who were able to win the premiership the following in year so the award winners for this competition there's the man himself pierced off there in the 20 or 23-24 season should I say and he had an absolutely outstanding year it was his first year with the club in the season that we won it we had a lovely 21 point cushion over FK Beograd and sadly for them even though they finished second and were clearly the second best team in the competition it was Enfield City that proved themselves to be the playoff team of the competition to come up from fourth spot and in the season just gone they've actually repeated the dose and come up with us again so they're definitely a playoff team and Adelaide River who came up with us managed to avoid relegation but not by that much so in the following year it was FK Beograd's win and they took no chances they won the competition by 16 points there comfortably beating Kangaroo Island in the second spot but again it was Cooper Pedy in third spot that actually got the promotional position down the bottom you can see our Perural and finishing dead last and obviously falling back into the Northern Territory Premiership. But uh, other sides that we also played against that have declined, Tiwi Islands as well. They were well up there for a while in our competition, but they, they've been relegated as well. Adelaide River improved to eighth, and you can also see Lara Pinta in ninth, and they have actually come up the previous seasons. The, the teams from the Premiership, apart from Alpa Rural, are actually doing quite well. And so season three saw us competing in the Foodland Central West Premiership and obviously we won that one as well. So now we're going to look at our best 11. Just going from the top of the list there, Alexander Fisher, 84 appearances for us now, an average rating of 7.04. Definitely one of our more important players going forward. Nikos Giorgio, who unfortunately was injured a lot last season and ended up leaving us to go to Bells Friggy, but 78 appearances with 12 goals and an average rating of 7.18. So a very good servant of the club. Chuma Fat. A strong defender, 54 appearances with 5 goals and a 7.14 rating. Very good on the heading was Shu. That's where his 5 goals came from. And Levi Goldschmickel had 55 appearances for us uh, on an average of 7.10. Wet Farts, who we were actually able to get back on loan from PSG, I believe. 77 appearances, 2 goals with an average of 7.13. Eric Shen, still with us. 61 appearances with 15 goals and a 7 7.51 rating and then it was Harry Dixon balls 37 appearances 36 goals at an average of 8.05 one of the strongest players in this team then it was Phil Zars on the left 38 appearances for 22 goals an average of 
8.12. And then Ray Gunn, the newcomer, 28 appearances, 28 goals and a 7.95. And then it was the man himself, Dick Splash, 41 appearances, 75 goals, average rating the highest there of 8.34. But in saying that, the boy that can't be named, 63 appearances, 108 goals and an 8.30. So not far away at all. And then obviously we can see the depth of this side because even the reserves or the, the also rans in this side are still in the high 7s and 8s with their averages. So looking at Danny Dickmeister, 7.15 with 48 appearances. Rick Astley, 39 appearances, Two goals, 7.26. Regis Quifa, who is back again, 47 appearances, 11 goals, and a 7.37. Wayne Kerr, 39 appearances for 20 goals, 7.95. Then Brutalize, 34 appearances for 40 goals, 8.12. And then Barry Bannerman, the journeyman, probably our best club man. He's led the side a few times. 82 appearances for three goals, 7.06. And then pierced off, 65 appearances, 84 goals with an 8.09. So where are they now? Alexander Fisher, Chuma Fat, Eric Shen, Ray Gunn, Danny Dickmeister, Regis Quifa, Brutalized, Barry Bannerman, Pierced Off are still with the club. So that's a very encouraging sign. I think it's important to have a cool group of players that are strong. Harry Dixon Balls is currently playing for Manchester City. Wet Farts plays for PSG. Phil Zars plays for Olympic Lyonnais. Dick Splash plays for OGC Nice. Levi Goldschmeckel is at Atalanta and Rick Astley is at Wigan Athletic. Wayne Kirk is at Western United and the boy that can't be named at the Gold Coast Knights and then finally Nikos Giorgio is at Bells Frigdi. So I've still got a few of those players in Australia but many of them have actually made the trip overseas so congratulations to them. So just looking at some of those plays in greater detail, Harry Dixon Balls there. Hasn't had a debut yet for Man City. Played 31 games for us, 35 for Melbourne City with six goals. So moving on to Wet Farts. And if you can see the uh, graphic there, Gold Duggery offers a graphics pack as well when it comes to the games that we play together. And that picture is from that. So they've all been scrambled up because this is a different save. So that is what Wet Farts looks like in this current uh, save. But I digress. So he had two seasons with us, 33 in the first and 27 in the second. And then PSG 2, he's made 19 appearances with one goal. So moving on to Phil Zars now, obviously another one of our better players. Had 31 appearances for us. Two for the Bulls FC Academy before he promoted into their senior side. 47 appearances for 11 goals from MacArthur FC. And now he's over at Olympic Lyonnais, but still waiting to make his debut. And the man himself, Dick Splash. 36 appearances for 69 goals for us. That's in the league. Obviously, he scored a few more goals in other competitions. But yeah, 69 in 36. Not a bad strike rate that before he went to Melbourne Victory. We actually played against them in a friendly and he didn't actually score against us, so that was good. So 23 appearances for them with three goals. He's played for OGC Nice twice, uh, no goals there, but he's in the second side, he's made seven appearances for three goals. And Levi Goldschmeckel played 44 games for us, 20 for Hapol Om El Farm, I hope I said that correctly, but he's actually moved to Serie A to play for Atalanta, so we wish him all the best. Rick Astley's at Wigan Athletic, he's played 32 games for us with two goals and then 24 without a goal for Wigan. Wayne Kerr, who was a very important player for us, scored 16 goals from 33 appearances with us. Then went to Melbourne Knights and had 48 appearances for seven goals there. And then 17 appearances for Western United and got one goal for them so far. And the boy that can't be named. 49 appearances, 91 goals. And I think in all games he got 108 goals for us in all competitions but yeah he went to the Gold Coast Knights last year 35 appearances for only six goals and unfortunately for the Gold Coast Knights who were in the A-League at the time they've actually been relegated to the championship so he'll be plying his trade in the championship this year and finally Nikos Giorgio Came to us from Adelaide River and didn't actually play a game for them, but we had him for 75 appearances with 13 goals. Played very well for us. And then he's just started at Bowles Friggy, four appearances already with one goal. Very good servant of the club. 
So that wraps up our little trip down memory lane. We can see how we've progressed through the competitions to this point, and we can also see the players that got us to where we are at the moment. Hope you enjoyed the journey, and if anyone's interested in me looking at any of the other clubs in the competitions around the country, let me know in the comments and I'll get on it for you guys. With respect to the database, there were a few changes that needed to be made that were identified in last season's video. I have actually fixed those now, so if you go to the Steam Workshop, it should work as intended now. And on the database, Skullduggery has assured me that he is going to go harder on the database for 2025, and I think he will even import the logos and the graphics pack for you as well, but I will leave that to him. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in Season 4.